Hi everybody, welcome back to my tax support channel. Today, in this video, I'm gonna to show you a very, very important use case wherein I'm gonna to connect various social networking sites via the Oracle integration. We will discuss what is the use case and why do I need to automate this solution to connect various social networking I'm going to explain. So guys, before I going to start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. So let's get started. Now, first of all, understand what is that use case all about? The automation that I have created is to fetch YouTube video posts from my personal YouTube channel and getting them published on various social platforms. It can be your LinkedIn, it can be a Twitter, it can be a Facebook, Pinterest and various other platforms you can connect via a single platform called Oracle integration. Why I did this? So like I create various videos on a daily basis or a weekly basis. If I need to post my older videos regularly on social networking site, it will take times. It will take time like get the video post from the YouTube channel, open various social sites like Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and post them manually, which takes time. So I thought I should create a automation which will help me to get the video posts from my YouTube channel and publish them on a LinkedIn and Twitter, which will save my time. Not only LinkedIn, Twitter, I can connect to any social sites to post those various videos post. So, but for this demonstration, I took LinkedIn and Twitter. So this automation is helping myself to automate my YouTube videos post on various social platforms such as LinkedIn and Twitter by leveraging Oracle integration. And not only this LinkedIn, Twitter, you can extend that solution to post them on other social networks as well. So how this is going to help you? So first it is, it will save your time. You don't need to go to your YouTube channel, get the videos post, and then put it on a different networking sites. Second, it will help you to increase your revenue. If you post your videos regularly on different social sites, people will watch them and your revenue will increase. Your subscriber will increase and it will help engaging your followers. They will keep watching your videos regularly. Not only videos, if you have a different sites like Blogger, WordPress site, you can fetch those those blogs and then put it over the social. So you can extend the same solution to put it on a different site. You can connect to any sites, put them somewhere and then connect and then publish the post. Now, if you see this architecture, like I mentioned, I am connecting from my YouTube channel. So I have created a scheduled program which will run on a certain frequency, maybe day or two days or you know, one, twice in a day, which will take the playlist from my personal YouTube channel. I loop them, I loop over the playlist and fetch the videos from those playlists one by one. And all those I am doing via the REST adapter because there is no YouTube adapter as of now in Oracle integration. So I am leveraging REST adapter, which is very powerful adapter. Once I will have videos, I will put it into the stream. So whatever metadata I am fetching from the videos, I am creating an array and putting into the stream. Maybe I have 10 playlists. I will get videos from those 10 playlists and put it into the stream. So once I will have videos post into the stream here, then I can use that stream connect to any integration, take them as the data and put it wherever I want. Then once, as soon as the data will be available in the streaming, I have two integration created separately. 
which regularly pull that stream via the OCI streaming adapter and uses the Twitter and the LinkedIn adapter and then put it there itself. Not only Twitter, not only LinkedIn, you can have one more integration connects to the same streaming and put it over the Facebook and any other social sites. So this is the complete architecture that I have created in our Oracle integration itself. So that will help you. Now, so what all I have consumed here, I have create, I have used the compute instance. Why I have used compute instance? Because I have installed an OCI agent, OIC agent there, just to connect to OCI streaming and to call it. OCI streaming, of course, and Oracle integration. So these are the three services I have used. If we talk about the integration adapter, I have used REST adapter, OCI streaming adapter, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I have used two integration pattern. One is called scheduled and second is called app driven. And here I have used integration pattern called agent, lookup, package, and JS library. Why I have used JS library? I will discuss it. Why I have used agent? I will discuss it. Why I have used lookup? We will discuss it. Now in the complete things, what all you need? If we, you need to connect to the YouTube, first of all, you need a YouTube channel because you need to fetch the videos from the YouTube channel. You should have a Google Cloud Pro account created. You need a project in a GCP. You need to create an API key under project which you create and you enable YouTube data API version three. So these are the things you need from the YouTube site. And then from the LinkedIn site, you need to have a LinkedIn account. You must have a company registered with the LinkedIn account. You register an uh, application in LinkedIn, enable share on LinkedIn product, which will enable required scope. And then from the Twitter site, you have a Twitter account and register an app in the Twitter so that I can use my LinkedIn and Twitter adapter to connect to those socials. And then from the Oracle Cloud site, I need an Oracle Cloud account. I need a required privileges to spin up the necessary services like Oracle integration, compute, and OCI streaming. And then we need all those. Now, in this complete, I have few checks as well. I have various control, like you may have various playlists created in your YouTube channel, but you don't want to take out all the videos from all the playlist. So you can exclude playlist, whichever you don't want to use to publish your post. If you don't want to publish post on a LinkedIn for a certain time, you can make the flag off and the videos will not be published on the LinkedIn. You have a control like how many videos you want to post on a LinkedIn, like you want to post one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera. Similarly, if you don't want to post over the Twitter, you can also stop them. Similarly, you can do a control like how many videos you want to publish on a Twitter itself. So these are the various controls that we have in this complete architecture. Now, let me go to my Oracle integration screen and let me show you what all I have done here. First of all, I will talk about the lookup. So I have created a lookup wherein I have mentioned all these configurable values like the exclude play playlist. So I have two playlist IDs, which I don't want to use to publish the post. So I have this lookup. I have two more published videos on LinkedIn, published videos on Twitter, wherein I am making a flag true, true, meaning I want to publish the videos on LinkedIn as well as Twitter. So I'm making the flag as a true. If you will make the flag as a false, then the video will not be published on the LinkedIn. Number of videos to publish on a LinkedIn, how many videos you want to publish on a LinkedIn. So you can put the numbers here, one, two, three, four. So these are the 
things which you can control via that lookup very easily. That is first lookup. Okay. Now let me close this. Let me show you. I have a library as well which I have created random generator for video. Why I have done this? Why I have created it? So now if I will have only the single videos, the first video regularly, then there is no use. So what I want, let's suppose in a playlist, I have 50 videos. So what I want, I want to get the random video post and publish them on a Twitter and LinkedIn. So for that reason, I have created this library, which will give me a random number. Okay. That's where I have used the JS library. Then I have various connections, which I have created. One is rest connection, which is connected to my YouTube APIs, wherein I have passed the API key and it, this API key will be used like this in a query parameter. Then here I have this streaming adapter, which I have created. Then I have a Twitter adapter. Twitter connection, which I have just created, wherein I have mentioned everything. So these things you will get when you create an application in the Twitter developer account. Similarly, I have a LinkedIn connection as well, wherein I have this client ID, client secret and scope. So all you will get when you register an application in LinkedIn as well as Twitter. So these are the artifacts that I have created. Now let's go to the integrations. So I have three integrations here. One is called get youtube playlist so the first integration the main integration what it does is so it actually get the playlist from my channel via that youtube rest api i loop over to the playlist and then i check which playlist i don't need to use to post the to get the videos. So here I have a switch condition contains exclude playlist. And then in that switch, I am using the YouTube rest API again to get the videos of a particular playlist. So maybe I can have 50 videos, 10 videos, all those videos that I have, I publish them into the OCI stream. So that integration is a schedule integration, which you can run every day, twice in a day, thrice in a day, whatever you like, and will all will get the videos from a playlist and publish them as in a streaming service. For example, you have a eight playlist and you have excluded two and in the six playlist will be used and all the videos from that playlist will go in a streaming. So, and here I have two more integration. One is called publish post in Twitter. The first one published post on a Twitter here. I am using OCI streaming as a trigger. That's where your agent will come in a play. OCI streaming adapter can only be used as a trigger if you use the agent. Otherwise, it can be used as an invoke only. So here, in this streaming adapter, I'm using, I'm connecting to the same, same streaming. Here you can see published video on LinkedIn, sorry, Twitter. If that flag is true, then only it will move forward. And then it will loop over to my video post. And then here you can see I am counting how many videos I do have in a single playlist and then getting the random number. Okay. Based on that. And here you can see number of videos I want to publish. For example, I want to publish one. So here I have switched just to check. And here I am using the Twitter adapter and publishing that random, random video on the Twitter. So if I open this, you can see here and you can see top level array and here you can see random number of video. 
so from the array it will get the particular video meaning the particular video as a random number similarly i have another integration published paused on linkedin the similar integration the only thing is it paused on the linkedin so if you want to post on the facebook you have to create the similar integration for the facebook as well now this is the these are the three complete integration which i have created now let me run and will show you so what you need to do you need to run this integration let me submit that and then will show you okay so let this integration to run for the time being and then will show you so it is in progress you can see get youtube youtube playlists running and you can see publish post on twitter publish post on linkedin you can see okay now let me refresh my page and you can see now how to get the current location in oracle visual builder you can see the complete post here if i come here you can see another video from another playlist has also been published similarly one more in this video you will learn how to get the values of the selected row in a oracle apex so one video from a one playlist similarly if i go to the twitter if i refresh this page you can see here as well 47 seconds ago you can see here so this is how you can connect various socials via the oracle integration so guys if you like this video please like comment and share and please send all your feedback if you want me to improve more i can improve that as well and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates you can follow me over linkedin twitter pinterest facebook you can always see my blogs https colon slash slash www.taxsupper.com thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye